the bacteria behind Lyme disease actually lays there, changes the terrain, is sophisticated enough to evade the host's immune system. That's why you're having this cascade. Wow. So it's hidden, it's, it's hiding, and it's causing you to really raise the level of inflammation, leading you to deleterious effects. These mechanisms also include interfering with or presenting with like an antigen presentation, blocking the T-cell appropriate activation, like you said, and really supporting inflammation. So that being said, what do you do? Everyone has different genetics. Everyone has different injuries. Everyone has their own, you know, unique digestive system and microbiome and damage, right, to all of those things and to structures. And Lyme will go to areas of dysfunction and inflammation like a mm. magnet because it's a free buffet for it. So much of our body is made from collagen and connective tissue and Lyme gets every bit of nutrient that it needs from collagen. And so previous injuries, areas of more toxicity where there's gonna be more oxidative stress and more damage, it's going to go to those areas because it's easier for it to feed there. Collagen's great for skin, hair, and nails, joint, gut. So here you have a lot of people suffering from Lyme disease or vector-borne diseases and they complain about the joint. You may have just given an explanation because you say, look, you're losing the collagen, there's inflammation, and when we talk about the gut,